Hello and welcome back and a very warm welcome to those who haven't tapped into this toddler service before. I hope you have all had a great summer. Now this term we are going to have a series on parables. Today's parable is great for harvest. Parables are stories that have a meaning. Now Jesus often taught his friends using parables. Do watch to the end. There is a craft after the goodbye song and notices at the very end, which includes churches and times of our harvest services. And we would love to see as many of you there as possible. Now, before we start the service, I always say, just sit back, relax and enjoy this September's toddler service. magic bag. I wonder what's inside. Shall we take a peek at the surprise? It's a very heavy bag today which is why I'm resting it on the table. Let's have a look. Oh I have a bag of flour. Flour? Why have I got flour? I wonder. I have a magic bag. I wonder what's inside. Shall we take a peek at the surprise? Mm, what else have I got in here? I have, I have some water. Now I wonder what the water is used for today in our story. Can just pop the water there. Mm, it's gone very light. I have a magic bag. I wonder what's inside. Shall we take a peek at the surprise? I have a packet of seed. Now, I wonder how small these seeds are. Now, these seeds, I think, are not wheat seeds, but these seeds Very tiny by the looks of it. And then when I see them, I'll know what they are. They are very tiny. These are minuscule seeds. Hmm. Let me see if you can see these. These are really tiny, very tiny seeds. These are flowers. See if I can put those back in the bag. They're very tiny seeds, aren't they? So look out the seeds in the story. Let me give you a clue. See if you can hear the word flower in the story and what we use the water for in the story. That's the end of our magic bag. Hi, Lucy. Yes. Now, today we're going to have a story and it's all about planting and growing. So, and it is a parable. So remember what the introduction said about parables, a story with a meaning. So Jesus told this story. There was a farmer who sowed seeds and grew plants, which in turn was made into wonderful food to eat. One day, this farmer sowed some seed of wheat in a field. The farmer looked after the seeds. He watered them when he needed. He spoke to them. The farmer made sure they were nice and cosy and well loved. Every night, he would sleep 
but woke up the next day to look after his field of wheat. The soil in the field which he planted the wheat in was very good and tiny shoots began to appear. Some days it rained so the farmer could have a break from watering. Other days the sun shone down which made the wheat grow taller and taller. The colour changed from green to golden brown colour. Beautiful, just Beautiful, said the farmer. One day, the farmer went to his field and said, now it's time for the harvest, which means to cut the wheat, so I can make flour with it. Mm. Isn't it wonderful? I sowed the seeds. I watered them when they needed water. I've now harvested the wheat, but who made the wheat grow? Do you know who made the wheat grow, Lucy? Yes, you're right. Lucy said, I think it was God. So God did make them grow. Now, plants need good soil to start their growth. And we as children are like those plants. God gives us good things to help us grow in our faith. He gives us love, like the farmer did. Peace, the farmer made sure the seeds were nice and cosy, which gives us all peace, doesn't it? And encouragement, when the farmer spoke to the seeds, he gave them words of encouragement to grow. So that is our parable and the meaning of the parable.
let's get ready for our prayer. Shake, shake, shake. Hands or knees, bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you for all your stories using parables. Please help us to grow with your love, your peace and encouragement. Amen. to show you how to draw this picture. Now if you wanted to you could use paint. I'm going to be using colouring pencils today but I want you to be creative so if you want to you can use paint. You could even do this on card and stick proper wheat down for your wheat fields. Um, you could put stones down for the footpath but you would need to use card for that. So I'm going to show you how I did this because we're going to separate first our paper so that we have the sky and then we have this bottom bit. So I'm just going to draw a line all the way across. It doesn't need to be straight, so don't use a ruler. Just do a, a line across the paper. So my line is quite wavy. So I'm going to draw in the footpath next. So there's my footpath. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour this side and this side all in yellow. that's quite a pale yellow so I'm just going to make it a little bit darker with a slightly darker yellow.
how different that is. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do some squiggly lines all over with an orange. So there we are. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate a little bit more the sky area from the cornfield. And I'm going to go over this line here, up and down, with an orange pencil. There we go, can you see that? The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the path. So I'm going to do this brown to start with. And to give it a little bit of highlights, I'm just going to add a little bit of red to it. more like a footpath. Now for the sky, I'm going to use a very pale blue and I'm going to do a circle because I think we'll use the moon today. So we'll have the moon in the sky. And I'm actually going to use white. I'm actually going to go white on the inside. And I'm going to bring it just around the outside a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to do the sky in very dark blue. blue sky and now for the birds I'm going to use a black pencil and it's almost like an extended ma so that's what you're thinking about an extended ma my pencil's just broken use a pencil instead it'll have the same effect And there is your picture of the cornfields with the birds and the moon. Amazing, but please be creative with it. And it'd be great to see some of your pictures, so do send them in.